Howdy, stranger. Don't say howdy, stranger, to me. I'll be back. And we are back. It's minute 33. Good no, dog. it's episode 33. It's minute... 66 104 <laughs> to 106 oh god let's just ch- let's just check the timeline actually 66 would be an hour and six yeah. minutes yeah it's a uh, minute 64 so that's one hour four minutes to one hour six it's minutes two two so minute i was gap. correct you were correct yes willkommen mit the hammer, two minute us. terminator the bitter yeah where we dismantle the terminator <laughs> films one by one mm-hmm uh hopefully in a coherent tight 15 minute show nice we will aim to if you've listened end. so far thank you if you uh <laughs> want to send anything into us i'm going to put this at the front of the show because we all seem to forget uh you can uh, send in your questions voice clips cosplay pictures dick pics i don't know whatever you want to s- just send something just send a complaint we've had some complaints already <laughs> to a uh, two minute terminator that's the number two minute terminator at gmail.com i'm ethan mckinley the host of this show and i'm sitting next to eleanor fitzgerald why are you looking at me like like this timid <laughs> rabbit from like, uh, Ellie, what is it, look Watership like, Down? Oh, no, I'm being interviewed. What's happening? <laughs> what going? year is it? Who's the president? <laughs> it's the spotlight. It's scary. How are you, Ellie? How have you been? Good. How are you? I've noticed you wear the same outfit every time we do a podcast. I do appreciate <laughs> it. I wear the same clothes every day. It's just always black. <laughs> do you not have any colours in your wardrobe? I don't have any colour in my life, Joe, let alone in my wardrobe. Do you want me to sort that out? <laughs> And a bit of flash. <laughs> Complaints I'm, are good. I'm very well. I'm actually, um, I've actually found a couple of bits of trivia to discuss in this. Amazing. We're back on track. I know. It's so we've, really we've, we weren't together for a while. Were we? we had a, a, a two-week hiatus off, unfortunately. We, we uh, have to do these in blocks and then we uh, release them as they go daily. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we didn't see each other for two weeks. I think we had to get all that out of the way, which we kind of did in the last two shows. and didn't really talk about Terminator. So mm. thanks for listening. <laughs> just, what happened, just, Ellie? What, what amazing trivia have you got for this wonderful film? Well, in the particular two minutes, we see... That's great. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? We see Sarah and we see Kyle um, going to, like, underneath a bridge. They've driven away from the uh, police station. They're finding somewhere to have a bit of respite, a bit of kip. Yeah, if you've just... Bandage up his... Just joined us. What happened was we've just watched to the point where the police uh, precinct has been shot up and uh, Kyle has escaped with Sarah. Mm. Back on the road again. And... Uh, Ellie then interjects with this wonderful trivia point. Um, so it's all a bit misty and foggy around, and I was looking at this trivia, and they're saying that the fog in the scene after Sarah and Reese leave... Is it real? Uh, ...the bridge where they spent the night is actually bug spray. Oh, wow. Due to a big fly scare in the filming location at the time, the crew was uh, going to wait until the spray dissipated, but then decided to use the fog for effect instead. This is revealed as a, um, in a DVD Easter egg, which can be found by pressing the right arrow. That is the right arrow in the language selection. <laughs> so the square on the right is lit up. So it's actually bug spray. So weird. hang on. the the Which uh, edition of the Terminator DVD? Just Does it say specific? This is revealed a, in, in, a in a DVD Easter egg. So it doesn't actually and say... And what exactly one. is the extra? You press right at the language selection, then what do you see? Just like someone spraying the bug spray or the explanation as to what the bug spray is? Or is it a text we shall have to find a out. bug we want specifics Ellie. that's what the show's all about the people listening who actually do listen the three well, maybe people, they can look the on three people DVDs. that tune in all right the four people that tune in like us three plus someone else and your mom. us three and cisco and cisco p cisco of nevada p. Cisco. <laughs> it's p for penis <laughs> that's oh god he's gonna call in that's again that's just uh, not We're very nice you're finished that's not he's very gonna nice. get you He's definitely going to listen to the show more, isn't he? Oh, have you? There's his podcast, guys. Check it out. I'm in it all the time. I've been the making current podcasts, characters. even if it's negatively. It's quite. You go. Oh, they remembered me. They remembered. Me. <laughs> we yeah. love you, Pete Cisco. Except for Ellie <laughs> and Joe. To loves me, a, you always strong, be penis. Cisco. Loves a strong word, <laughs> but I love your. Ellie's namesake, called you a penis, Captain and Joe's Cisco. told him to go fuck himself. <laughs> it's like two episodes back. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm haven't got any trivia. I spent my time. I spent my time uh, googling to find out information about the first aid kit that they use. It's called a J kit, first aid kit. Well, that's why you're here, Joe. 
Yeah, but I, there's, I can't find anything online Up to this about point, the J. Uh, you've been good at like <laughs> uh, celebrating the unsung heroes of the film, like the bit part actors, but yeah. we've not really had that so far, have we? Because we've, no, there's, been like... there's, no, there's no extra bit part episode, uh, people in this two minute scenes either, but I've also been uh, commenting on uh, clothing as it's been going along, and I really like, in this two minute se sequence, we get a really great shot of Sarah Connor's tie-dye blouse oh, God. Um, at the beginning of the two minutes, which I really like, and her watch as well, which I do believe is Seconda, but I can't tell at How the moment. How can you tell if it's Seconda or not? It just looks like classic Seconda ladies' just watch. Like a basic leather 89. Strap. <laughs> which, what, this tunnel Season. they're hiding out in, where and what is it, Elle? Do you know? I don't know. I've but been but looking can, that up as well, I but I haven't have found a look, location I also yet. have another bit of trivia from the yes, previous Yes, there was episode. a second. Oh, please. You know how we were saying we didn't know if... Um... Where were you in the last episode <laughs> where we were talking about everything but the film? It's not how this is supposed to work. Um, uh, Lieutenant Traxler, you know how we were saying we didn't know if he died or not? Paul Winfield, yes. Yeah. And um, well, here it says, The revolver Reese carries after the police station massacre and gives to Sarah at the motel is Lieutenant Traxler's. Um, in a deleted scene, uh, Reese and Sarah are trying to escape the police station. When they come across the wounded Traxler, he now believes their story uh, and gives uh, Reese his sidearm, telling him to protect Sarah. So Traxler is actually alive, um, but it was just a deleted scene. So Stunned silence there. The, I know. In the universe of the film, <laughs> Lieutenant Traxler comes to believe that the Terminator is what he is, what he's yeah. been explained to, and he's from the future. And he condones Reese's actions and tells him to take off his yeah. My friend Reese, <laughs> I gave him my revolver. He crawled through a river of shit to get Sarah out but of town. he time. was my friend. <laughs> he was my friend. <laughs> so there you go. Trivia, boom, two. The features Drops of the, the man in question who took my gun. <laughs> He looked like a Terminator. I really want to know the location of this underpass, pictures. but um, my research dictates to me that because I haven't got any uh, any notes online with regard to the use of this underpass, that I think that this is actually filmed indoors because it's pretty easy to just two walls and then some bushes in the background. That is true. Yeah, but it's not because, as this trivia has said, that it was bug spray. So, does, but, so well, does you it said say a where fly it is? scare. What's a fly scare? Does it say where it is? No, it doesn't say where it is. No, there I is mean, no location. What's a fly scare, really? If you look... I don't know. <laughs> if, you look if you watch this two minutes through, it doesn't look out so outdoors, really. There's no wide shots. There's no also, when in this at the beginning um, of the two minutes as well, they, they stop the car, they get out of the car, and he's like, oh, we just need to get this car off the road, and they literally just push it into some bushes. They don't shut the boot. They don't shut <laughs> the I do that to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> For different reasons. If you are walking down the road with a friend, anyone can do this. Please do, uh, just push them into a Shove bush. them into a hedge or a bush mm -hmm. as you walk. And they just go Unless they're elderly. No, you can do that too. Oh, really? Yeah, elder pe el elderly people fly elderly as well. Like yeah, you give them a good shove. The <laughs> bones are so brittle and honeycomb, they just take flight. <laughs> yeah. So but she yeah. asked Reese about the future and what time travel's like. He's like, Jake there's it. light and pain. No idea. <laughs> there's light and pain. Sounds like your evening like on Friday, born. Ethan. Yes. <laughs> Do tell us what you I had you a very interesting evening. Uh, to Let's hope it doesn't destroy your acting career. No, well, if this podcast doesn't, this news I'm about to tell you certainly will. I worked at a night called Nude Noir. And what does Nude Noir mean? It's a, Naked a, black. It's a BDSM, okay. Fifty Shades of Grey type thing, a bondage, domination, Did submission. It get, does it get kinky or is it just kind of friendly and above board? No, it's very above board. It's super clean. It's like 25 uh, Shades of Grey, if that. So it's like it. it's like for the new wave. Or yeah. The, the, the post Fifty shades. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's rich people having a nice dinner, then pretty girls walk around with like men on dog collars, and I was one of those men guys. Great. Ethan was collared, and he. Kissed I was some collared. Feet. I had to be led around on my hands and knees. I mean, one of the reasons I, I was do it wacky things now, which is kind of a get out, is because you can go. I've did it for the podcast, which you kind of did, because not for this podcast. Not, not the money. Not the money. I don't do it for the money. Uh, I do it for the love. Totes no, does it for the cash. No, yeah, so no, it was very bland and boring, sadly. I'd love to tell you of uh, some wackiness that happened. At any point while you were being led around on the dog collar, did you get aroused? We actually have no, the... Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the, the, that's the, the collar. Mask. I did, a little bit. I had to get around I'm like, put the putting eye mask these eye masks on, ladies. Yeah, it sounds pretty hot. They're actually putting a, a, a lacy eye mask on me as we speak. Sorry if this is off-topic, Terminator fans, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, needs must. Can I add that? Are you using that? Can I add that to my pile of uh, you can have it. Nine you can have that. There's a bunch of them. I think they keep falling out of pockets. Yes. I'm just pa <laughs> we actually discovered upon arriving at Joe's um, <laughs> abode this afternoon that he has recently purchased a um, cat, cat, nine tails. cat nine tails. He's trying to complete the world's worst Terminator outfit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the lacy shades. 
Lazy the cat nine tails. <laughs> yeah. He's no, got I did. Yeah. Well, I did, but there was one girl. I think if you're a performer of any kind, particularly if you're on the burlesque or the fetish scene, I assume uh, you need to have kind of like some kind of like sexual power or sexual charisma. And I think yeah. a lot of people that do that don't. Mm. And all the girls there didn't really have that. It was mired by the fact they brought their husbands and boyfriends along, which I yeah. think yeah. was so bizarre. really bizarre. Why, if you're going to work at a fet night, why would you eat? It wasn't a fet night. It was just odd. If I was running at that night, I'd be like very displeased with them bringing their partner. Because one, if you've got some weird, jealous boyfriend, not that anything was happening there. It's just going to control the situation. Isn't yeah, it? change the chemical gonna, dynamic. It, yeah, it'll be the Heisenberg uncertainty principle where you kind of, whatever you study, you actually alter. So mm. you're not getting mm. a, a, a natural... Uh, Look at that blouse and no. those high waisted denim jeans. I like them a I lot. I think she might have tie dyed that herself. I hope so. I tie dyed a t shirt once when I was on, uh, like, what's the uh, so, so thing you go to during when there's no term, when there's no school? Ashley Birth. During the summer. Half term. Half term, yeah, but when you go back to the school for fun stuff. Oh, I never had School, that. school, place. Anyway, whatever you do during the summer holidays, I went to one of those and there was a tie dye thing and I was just like, oh, I've only got my white t shirt I was wearing. So they were like, well, you can do that if you want. How do you so tie dye, Joe? You just kind of tie string around a t-shirt and then you dip it in dye. And then you let it dry. And then Holy when you lynch. take the di- take the string off, the string has covered certain parts so there's no dye in those bits. So you get these circle effects. So I got so, home with my tie dye t-shirt and my grandma was just like, that t-shirt was white this morning. She <laughs> made me she made me untie dye it. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, you I, had to bleach my, I had to bleach my, bleach my t-shirt in the sink. Why did you buy your new t-shirt? What a square. Because I think it was a principle of you've just ruined, you've ruined a white t-shirt. Reminiscent of when your I was... white t-shirt. Yeah, but I was seven. You don't have any possessions at seven, do you? This t-shirt is not from the old ways. He's <laughs> done some hippie <laughs> nonsense to it. You'll be smoking pod next. Yeah, well, I and, thought and that that tie dye wouldn't <laughs> yeah. do it. Tie dye is a gateway. It's a slippery, gateway. Say, it's a slippery slope. Yeah. Tie dye pot, then acid, then. Yeah. No, tie dye, then cross stitch. What drugs do you sell, Joe? <laughs> uh, I've moved on from that gag. That oh, was just okay. a one episode gag. I don't oh, okay. <laughs> now I'm pushing my, my play. He's the King play, Strikes not Back. Pushing drugs. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, I was going to say, that medical kit, I was going to say, we've just seen. I just yeah, I've looked up the medical kit, and there's nothing on the w- T Wiki about it, um, and there's nothing online. It's called a J kit. And I, you know, so if you cut your J, and also, yes, if the Terminator's searching for them and sees the car that's just been abandoned by the side of the road, surely that would give him a good clue as to where they'd gone. So mm. I, again, I this whole this whole dispersing of the car. Well, that's why they, they push it off the road. Yeah, but push off the road oh, with dear. all of the windows and oh, doors really? open. I like that. Oh, what? So they're not going to see that? No, it's just been submerged. Well, we don't know. We wait. I think some things Look, you have to that, assume. That's indoors. That's that's not th- where they go to the underpass. It's, it's outdoors, to, though. It's outdoors. They, she, it is. There it? was a fly scare, whatever that means. There was a fly scare, guys. So you're saying all of that mist in the background is actually fly yeah, spray? Yeah, it's, it's bug spray. <laughs> I would imagine that's it's more like healthy. I imagine it's more like a smoke machine when they do that to like yeah, bees and stuff. Yeah, look at that. That's look. That's that's, that's a smoke machine. Yeah, that's got to be come on. Why atmosphere. would why would Terminator trivia lie? Well, maybe they're referring to the initial. Why would regular wiki lie about anything? You see, when they get out the car and they push it into the bush, maybe that's outdoors. It's legit, man. And then the cut here is inside. Maybe. Because this is all close-ups and smoke machine, and yeah, I think this is inside. I see. Personally. Let us know what you think, peeps. Yeah, do it. Inside or outside. And then what happens? So yeah, they're chatting, and she's. This is a bit. There's a bit more frisson between these guys leading up to. Uh, she starts to, to trust him. To some. Um, so, uh, to, the to grooming a point. continues. Yeah. Because he's just like, oh yeah, I've I think been she's shot. Grooming Fine. Him. And then she's she goes, grooming oh, him take now. Kit off. She's grooming him now. She's like, totally. what's your name? Oh, hospital. Let what me care for you. What about James Cameron, her boyfriend? <gasps> well, they yeah, see each other this time. They weren't going out at this point. Yeah. So shut up, Eve. In the context of the film Me universe, things. the guy that leaves <laughs> the guy that leaves the voicemail, which you pointed out, Ellie, breaking her date in this film was Cameron. the voice of James Cameron. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So what about him? She just abandoned Cameron. Well, totally. Abandoned Cameron. Because he abandoned her, and then Kyle was there in her moment of need. He's bleeding. He's bleeding out. I see. And then back to the beginning. And then back to the back beginning. Back to the beginning. Well, yep. and that concludes minute. Was it concise? Was it? I think so. Yeah, we're on uh, thirteen minutes, which is nice. And I think for the f- future reference, we should like not analyze our own podcast within the. I like that. It's really itself. meta. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too meta. It's when you like shine a mirror at a mirror and you just go off into infinity. After I like meta. the fact that you've listened back to the previous set of podcasts we've done and decided not to bring up your movie. This time round. <laughs> ah, oh, well. Wow. The <laughs> reason being, things have taken an interesting turn with that. And uh, if you have listened this far, Arthur and Merlin.co.uk is probably mm-hmm. your last time to see it before it uh, distributed on, I guess, Blu-ray and DVD. They found, I think, uh, a possible 
distributor. That fills me with uh, hope because the 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 King Strikes Back, the play that I'm now producing, I'm going to release it online directly to market. And well, do the issue they're having with it online is because there's a uh, little advertising budget. It's getting the word out there for people to actually see yeah. your movie after it's been made. You've got to get press to get involved on a kind of a uh, just an interest level yeah. rather than money, um, which is difficult. But the fact they've now they've released it online and then found a distributor, maybe but they're working on that. I think that fills me with hope. That means 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 to me, I'm going to release my thing online and then look for a distributor. I was arguing about whether I should go to a producer and get it produced. And then, and then, anyway, this is not relevant. No, it's, it is relevant. I, th- but I think, uh, well, before we wrap up, I th- why would you need a distributor or a producer? You just make it yourself. Yeah, make it myself, and that's what I want to do. And the also, the proof is, being in the pudding, maybe this won't sell initially, but it will show. It'll be an audition piece true. for you in a sense. Yeah. going, I make this. This is a self-contained production. Well, the, the alternative is that I bring in a producer who's got links with the BBC, who are the ma- major broadcasters of uh, radio drama in the UK. Right. And if uh, the produce, if it goes through a producer to the BBC, then there's a guarantee that it will be broadcast. Right. And the BBC and the producer will go, oh, well, they won't broadcast this bit and they won't broadcast that bit. So my message will get diluted somewhat in exchange for listens right. and cash. But I'm, I kind of am a bit of a purist. No, of course. I've got this. I've got this scene at the end that kind of alludes to. Don't ruin it. Paedophilia within the royal family that would never get broadcast. But no. I like it. Well, Incidentally, starring in the, 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 the wireless play, I'm calling it, The King Strikes, King Strikes Back, Back, is Ethan as himself, a radio presenter, and Ellie as a uh, virtual person, co-host and producer of the, uh, Which she kind the of show is in this that show. takes place in the play. Yeah. I cool, like eh? That. I'm almost like a Terminator. Art imitating <laughs> life and perhaps in the future life imitating art. And there we Any have time. it. Uh, come back for minute 34. Uh, we 64. discovered in this episode. Six. No, 66. No, no. Episode 34. Yeah, episode 34. Minute 66. And minute 106. That's one hour, six minutes to 108 minutes. That's the next episode coming. Uh, that will be with us tomorrow. Uh, is it, please tune in for that. Is it 106 or is it 60 mi- minute 66? Because uh, the 106 what, minutes. Yeah, no, be. that's an, uh, an hour and 46 minutes, isn't it? So one hour. So it's 66 one minutes. Six minutes. Mm-hmm. The 66 minute mark. Let's boil I wonder that. what's going to happen on the sixth second of the 66th minute. Let's find out in the next episode. We've learned that I've done some performance art this weekend. It's a, 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 some bizarre fetish. Not porno, a fetish, porno, God, porno. Some stupid S&M dinner. <laughs> I, I can care. actually just... It's why, are really com- why are we combining sex with food, by the way? Exactly. It's a good combination. It's Never so the twain no. shall meet. No. Cooked meats. Fuck cheese. Fuck <laughs> milkshake. Fuck chocolate. We're, we're, we're adding dairy to the And mix. fuck this show. Boiled eggs. Say goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Bye. I am Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I'm stupid in my head. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. Big square hair